Okay, today we're going to do a multi-use commercial project. So, select non-dwelling from the welcome screen, then go to multi-use commercial project, click the button, and we get a new screen. So, <clears throat> the way this is set up is you have commercial units within the building, they have to be previously calculated. You've got house panels within the building. And sometimes you have uh, a couple of commercial units with residential units in the building. So how do we do this? <clears throat> well, the easiest way is to first follow the instructions. You see that it says units that will be used to make the model project must be calculated separately. So first you're going to have to calculate the commercial unit types, the residential unit types if you have them, and the house panels. First step is to go to block one up here, enter the service data, service data below, which is what is your service voltage and phase. So let's just say we've got uh, 208 uh, volts. And let's say it's a three-phase service. Okay. Now next, and you'll notice that the voltage and phase clicks off with a check mark. All right. So next, we want to do what is the commercial unit? So unit number one. How many of this type? Well, let's say it's one. Now let's click in the unit file name box, and it's going to open up the commercial calculation. So we have a sample in there. And notice we went to C colon Alexsoft 18 commercial, and that's where that's located. Let's take in the sample calculation that's previously calculated. Open that. Notice it goes into the box. Now let's go over to box number three, a house panel. And this would be for like parking lot lights, uh, loads that are not going to be paid for by the owner, but from the owner of the property. So let's put in the house panel, put in one house panel, double click in the box to draw the file in, and the house panel folder comes up. And notice we got a sample house panel right here. Let's open that. It goes into the house panels in the building. Next, we want to go to number four. Let's say we're going to have some apartments on top of this building. So let's use residential unit number one, put in one. Now look for the unit file name. And let's use sample one. And let's just say that the apartments are going to be the same type, but there's going to be two apartments up on top of this uh, building. So here's two, one. And we'll again use that sample panel sample apartment building. Notice it came from a resid because it's a residential unit. You say open. All right, now looking at the instructions and forms, it says enter info into items one, two, three, and four. We did that. Enter unit type in each box. Double click the unit file name. We've done all that. Now let's look and see in box number five if all the data is entered. Well, we've got the commercial units entered, residential units entered, house panel, volts and phase. All right, so what we're going to do then is go to File, and we're going to click Calculate. And it says that this is a mismatch because we're using three-phase services. Those were done with single phase. Uh, that would be OK. And you'll notice that it's calculated. I'll pull this over here so you can see it in the separate. And see, we've done the commercial units. Here's the calculation. We're line and neutral. Residential units. Here's their load. The house panel load. And we're going to use the standard calculation because the optional method does not apply to this type of service. So standard line amps are 304. And the neutral is 200. We say OK. We go back to file. And what we want to do is do the panel size now for this. And you notice we have a main service and equipment side. Well, the main service for this is a three-phase service. It's a standard calculation. 
the closest panel size standard panel is a 400 amp and you'll notice that it selected one 400 amp for the main service so that means your main service disconnect is going to be there and then you'll have separate units which were calculated in your uh, previous calculations for the panels that will be attached at this one point of service so we'll choose THHN and again your instructions are here fill out the instructions we got to look at the neutral if this is over half the uh, load of the service which is 304 we're gonna be asked questions about that so if you notice on the pop-up it says 51 percent or more of calculated load current carrying and that's going to be for your questions that are going to come up so let's push the determine and cut conductors and conduit button number four here's your questions does that apply is the neutral conductor current carrying remember our pop-up over here it said 51 more more percent say yes should it be made full size yes in this and also it says that the needed size of aluminum wire is not available so what does that mean if you look over here into the panels calculation you've got your copper conductors okay three nine hundreds that's not really a common size and there's not aluminum wire available so what we would do is we go down column number one see the this is all filled out in column one and we're going to have to parallel so we'll push the button the paralleling screen comes up it says main service 400 amps how many parallel sets do you want to do well we can start with two so put the number two in the little pink box and determine conductors and conduit push the button same questions that were asked in the regular panel balancing and you'll notice that it's filled out so it says in separate conduits you're going to have three 250s and one 250 remember there's two sets of these so you're going to have two separate conduits here's your aluminum wire in separate conduits you can put them all in one and notice it says six 350s and two 350 in a four inch conduit the reason why this the grounding conductor is zero is this is the main service feed when you go to the equipment side that conductor sizing will appear remember that we don't save this so you would print it out to go back you say okay and now back in this you would also uh, you, ne you need to print out the parallel one because we don't have all the conductors here and then again you can print this out say okay go back to the standard calculation screen once again it's right here go to file and then go to save as save as will take you to the to resid well this doesn't reside in resid so you're going to have to put it in the proper column because it is part of our multifamily uh, multifamily is going to be in I believe house panels let's see yes see unit the XXX that's the that's the file extension for this calculation so we'd put in sample in a multi and then we can save that file and then when you come back you can pull it back up finally we go back to file and we go to exit and we're done with multifamily you have to go back to the commercial selection and return as you see in the box to the welcome screen and that's it that's flashworks multi-use commercial project